Alright guys, I just stumbled across a really cool technique that's going to save you tons of time. So basically, we'll watch this video now, and you'll notice there's jump zooms that are jumping in and out, and I'm going to show you how you can do this really quickly. So check this out. I know you want to work online, but you don't know where you fit. I'm going to help you see what options are available and how to find out where you belong. First of all, you're going to be selling a product for someone else or selling a product for you. All right, so I think you get the point. So what I'm going to do is just to demonstrate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this sequence and just call this example. I'm going to drag the uh, the footage in. Now what I want to do is I want to get the composition right first on the main video. So maybe I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to go across. And just get me in the top third. I think it's good to not have that black bar there. Um, actually, I want my eyes in the middle. So be careful, I don't want it cropping off on the side. So I'm going to go across to about here. Now, I'm going to do my regular, just fix the audio quickly. Let's just go, it's only an example, but we'll go about here. Then color correct. And remember, we want to make sure that we do all this. Uh, if we want the whole video, the, the same, you know, exposure and stuff, this is why we need to do it first. So it might not be perfect, but let's just say this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a few cuts. Okay, guys, so I've just kept five clips in just to show you the example. And it's really stupidly easy. We've got the composition right here. Now what we want to do is we can do little jump cuts. So let's just say, for example, I want to do a little jump cut here. I can click on this track and I can go to 125 and just turn it up 10 and we're going. And then I could do it here again, 125 and then we got. So as you can see, this method, if you're doing it for the whole thing, is going to take a long time, especially if you've got loads of cuts. Also, you want to make sure that the eye line is the same when you zoom in. So what I do typically is just I can take a um, I could take my text tool here. I can just do a little dot. I'm just going to do a little dot like this and you can see my eye line is here. Now, if we zoom in to 130 on another track, you can see the eye line moves. So we would have to move this down because we want the jump to be on the eye line. Are you more of a creative the thing is, this means if we want to, we could put scale 130, but now we need to adjust the position on every one. So here is a better way to do it. So let's undo this. Let's put our dot back for the eye line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the effects channel and we're going to apply transform to this clip. So we're going to go from scale is at 100. So we're going to go 115 and you can see the eye lines moved. Now we can bring the position down and first of all, are you more of a creative person or are you more of a We can delete our graphic and now all we have to do is copy and paste our transform property. Click copy and then click on every other one. First of all, are you more of a creative person or are you more of a logic person? There's a few components when it comes to working online, but generally you're going to be selling a product for someone else or selling a project for yourself. So there you go. That's how you have eye line level accurate jump cuts quickly in Premiere Pro.